Welcome traders to Signal Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 13th of December with me, Patrick Mallory. Starting in the US, the focus is really going to be on Wednesday where we get US retail sales. Uh, the market median sees a rise of 0.8% after the 1.7% increase in October. Sales surged as uh, consumers started holiday shopping early. High inflation is not yet dampening spending even as we start, are starting to see signs of consumer sentiment weakening. And most importantly, on Wednesday, we get the FOMC meeting and let's expect the tapering price to be doubled, which would end bond buying in March instead of mid-2022. This has already been signaled by Fed members. So the focus is really going to be on the revisions to the dot plots and the terminal rates. From a technical perspective, dollar index appears to be carving out a bullish flag pattern. So I'm looking for another leg to the downside to test the 9490 area support, watch for bullish reversal patterns from that level to engage on the long side, looking for a test up towards the 98 handle. At this stage, a close back through uh, 9670 would suggest that the correction is already complete and then puts the immediate focus on the 98 handle. From a technical perspective, we really need to see a close back through 9330 to suggest the current upside advance is uh, complete. <coughs> So in the Eurozone, uh, the focus is really going to be on Thursday where we get Eurozone PMIs, surging COVID rates will weigh on the composite, which is forecast to fall from 54, uh, from 55.4 last time. Uh, performance may vary widely across the region due to disparate COVID restrictions. And then also on Thursday, most importantly, we get the ECB meeting. Policy makers are expected to sound cautious, noting the risk of higher inflation with gradual recalibration of emergency policies. Most likely extending the PET could be the easiest way out or during this fourth wave, but uh, this could hurt Lagarde's credibility. Then we round out the week in the Eurozone with Friday's IFO business survey. Where economists expect a 95.5 print versus the prior 96.5, sentiment fell for the fifth straight month in November, rising COVID cases and new restrictions will weigh on morale and supply bottlenecks still remain in place. From a technical perspective, in terms of the euro dollar, looking for this corrective move to advance now up into the 114.30, 114.50 area, watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side. Looking for a move down to test that long-term weekly trend line discussed in my live weekly market analysis session just above the 110 handle. In Japan, focus is really going to be on Friday. It's the BOJ meeting. Analysts expect the BOJ to maintain ultra-easy policy. The bank is to debate whether extending its emergency pandemic relief programs beyond March 2022. Uh, Reuters reports that policymakers are leaning towards tapering corporate credit purchases. From a technical perspective, uh, as resistance remains in place at the 114.30 to 114.50, and also looking for a break now of the 112.50 to take us back down into test 111.50 as support. So that would be the third test of this major trend line. From there, we can anticipate at least a three-wave corrective bounce. In the UK, uh, Tuesday, we get UK jobs. Uh, consensus expects the unemployment rate to have dipped one-tenth to 4.2%. In October, analysts highlight the abundance of vacancies with uh, three straight months of over 1 million prints. And the expiry of the furlough scheme is likely to have uh, lifted wages. On Wednesday, we get the UK CPI analyst forecast a jump in headline inflation to 4.8% from 4.2% and the core rate to 3.9% from 3.4%. The rise in off gems price cap for electricity and gas prices uh, will be the biggest boost, but there will be a broadening of price pressures as higher petrol, food and clothing prices came together last month. Most importantly, then on Thursday, we have the BOE meeting. It's a close call for a 10 basis points hike, with the market seeing around a 40% chance. The latest COVID concerns and the move to Plan B bring uncertainty and may outweigh inflation worries for now. Updated forecasts are not due until February next year. We round out the week in the UK on Friday with UK retail sales. Analyst forecasts a reading of plus 0.3% following a surge in sales in October after five months of declining volumes. Black Friday activity was uh, reportedly robust, whilst uh, base effects may uh, fold, uh, flatter the annual comparison. From a technical perspective, 
the uh, cable has been in this descending wedge pattern, potentially getting a break, uh, developing now. If we can follow through on Friday's move to the top side through 132.80s, look for a test of 134.10 uh, to 134.20, watching bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, looking for the equality objective down at 130.12. And rounding out the week down under in Australia, the only data of note is going to be Thursday's jobless data. Um, expect the pace of workers returning to the labour force to continue to outpace gains in the employment in November. Uh, forecasts for a 242k lift in the labour force will see partici uh, participation rate rise to 65.8% and an employment rise to 5.3% versus a uh, previous 5.2%. From a technical perspective, as the Australian dollar uh, continues to find support in the 7080 area, look for a move up to test the prior ascending trend line resistance, uh, sorry, support as resistance. Watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, looking for a move down to test the uh, descending trend channel support coming in at 69.12. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 13th of December. As always, traders plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.